Alright, I'm going to get back to work on the Screwdrive ATV. Uh, I've done a few things to get ahead of the game here, and that being I've removed some of the excess weight. So I've gone ahead and torched off the uh, footrests. I've also taken out the uh, original mounts that the swing arm went to. Kind of big ugly things that are pretty flimsy really. Uh, didn't really like them, so those are gone. Got rid of these rear mounts that used to hold some of the rear fender work together. Uh, battery box. So that's lightened everything up quite a bit, and now this is all open. Uh, I took some measurements off the original swing arm, and I've gone ahead and made a template out of wood again. Check out my video on wood templates if you want to know how that's done. And that's going to go on the side of the machine. So I've plasma cut out, out some uh, 3 16 steel. And these are going to be the side gussets for the, um, what I'm going to call the center bulkhead, even though it's not really a bulkhead, but whatever. So it's going to be one of these on each side. I'm going to build everything off that. And uh, I'll go ahead and weld those on and then I'm going to plate up the bottom. So here's a tighter shot of what I've done here. Uh, see those plates are in place. Then I'm going to go ahead and weld these bushings in. One on either side. Uh, three quarters a little heavy duty, but I'm kind of sick of these things breaking, so I'm going to make this a little bit beefier. So then I'm going to put this shaft through. And that's just going to keep everything centered and in line for while I weld it. Got some grease fittings here as well, but something like that, and something like that. So I'll go ahead and weld those bushings in, and then that's going to be what I can square up my rear axle to, or not rear axle, sorry, rear swing arm. So I just threw a couple pipe clamps on here just pulling on the shaft, this temporary shaft that I put in here. And that's putting a little bit of tension on these bushings and just making sure this all stays square while I weld it. So it's basically clamping these in place. I've stuck these out on either side a quarter inch just for giving me something to weld on. So I'll go ahead and weld around each side. Well, now that I've got the bushings put in at three quarter, I need to match up my swing arm to that same size. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of tubing uh, about eight inches long. That's gonna fit in between the two bushings. And then I'm gonna make some plastic uh, bushings to go into the tubing with three quarter inch hole that I can run my rod through. And I just turn these on the lathe uh, these are actually old parts of a coolant flush machine that I got that, that was being thrown out so I always keep this kind of white plastic, hard white plastic. Anyways, uh, since I've already drilled some holes in here, what I had to do is uh, I went back to my wooden template and I cut a big enough hole in here that I can lay this back in and plasma cut it the correct size hole to drop this pipe through the swing arm. So I'll go ahead and do that, I'll weld the pipe in, and I'll slap it together here and show you exactly how it's all going to go together. With the tube welded in and the bushings pounded into the tube, it's a pretty nice and tight fit on there. And the, the pin itself is going to be wearing on these plastic bushings and I will secure it into this bushing with another pin so it isn't spinning here. It's only spinning in the plastic. Turned out fairly well. Sorry, I keep kind of flipping this thing over and around. It's getting a little disorientating, but... Uh, disorientating? Oh, well. Anyways, uh, I don't know if you can really see here, but frame's actually offset to one side for whatever reason, the quad. So this isn't actually the center of the frame here, it's over here. 
So this is the bottom. This is the front where my front uh, cross member is going. And I've gone ahead and started making the piece that I'm going to attach my front links to. This is just a piece of 2x2 two two square tubing that I've cut out and kind of made this U-shaped piece out of. And I've also got some swivel ends, which I've machined little bushings for. And those are pinned on there. So the center line of this, you can see how it's offset, fits the center line of the machine, not necessarily the frame. So this piece is going to get welded in right here. the brackets I built for the front mount so the front links again just made out of 2x2 two two square tubing which I've cut up and uh, drilled some holes in for the mounts I also made some little bushings again to separate out the links so that they don't rub and I'll go ahead and I'll weld these on the front of the machine That being the offset mount, that being the mount on the front cross member, and these links are just made out of tubing, uh, welded nuts to the end of them, and they're on the spherical rod ends, one on either side. Now the only thing I haven't done yet is fix the end of these struts which I talked about in my last video or perhaps one before that, I can't remember, but uh, not going to be a big deal. For right now I just put the bolt through just one side of the plating and that gives me the flex I need just to test it. So this is the mock-up of the suspension system I designed. Uh, it's what I kind of call is a four link in the front. So these are the two top links of the four link. This would be uh, basically like your differential if it was a car and uh, you know uh, axle I should say and the rear links or the bottom links sorry are the screws so that's what keeping this all together so I'm going to go ahead and just push down on the back of it I think you can probably see it in the video there I'll try and do a little bit closer shot for you but as I push down the back it's basically lengthening the frame and that is causing the front cross member to tilt outwards and that is the whole point of this design is that there's no bind in the suspension and that's pretty solid I mean I don't have anything bolted up properly yet but not bad I think once it's all once it's all tightened down I'm going to be pretty happy with that pretty cool See what we got for articulation here. We'll throw a jack under the front corner here and try and torque it up. <laughs> Sweet. So I don't know. What is that? A good 10 inches probably? It's starting to lift the screw off that side there. But I mean, there's no weight on it right now either. So if I was sitting on there, I could potentially have more. And during, you know, during that, you still have the full, full movement of the rest of the suspension system. But the screws are still parallel. So it doesn't matter what I do with this, the screws will stay parallel. I think it turned out awesome. Definitely got to do a little more reinforcing in this uh, bulkhead. I haven't finished it, but I need to know what kind of motor I'm doing so that I can make a mount and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't know. 
Looks pretty cool to me. Let her down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? 